what is up what is up everybody welcome 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 i just realized that i left my water on the other side of the room again this is getting like to be a habit i need to get my whole life together <laughs> Sometimes I forget it. Sometimes I bring it right up no, nice and close to me. But anyhow, I was running a couple minutes late. So I had to sacrifice the water to be here as quickly as I could. <laughs> so what is up? What is up? What is up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Nadine at Entice the Brand. And I help to empower women to live their best life now, to reclaim their power, to stop waiting until tomorrow, until the circumstance and the situation is right, and realize that you have everything that you need to start living in your power now, right now, right now, right this minute. Not waiting, but now, okay? So today we are going to talk about having you know your power, taking your power back. Because a lot of us, we give our power away and we give our power away in so many ways and we don't even realize it. We give our power away to people, to inanimate objects, to circumstances, to situations. We just give the power away and we just lay down and be like, look at what's going on. Look at what's happening in my life. I can't believe this is happening. And we just wait for the right moment and we make excuses and this is something that requires massive amount massive amounts of accountability like being accountable for where we are in our life and being accountable for the things that we're doing that's impacting our life is probably one of the most empowering things that you can do Blaming situations, blaming people, blaming things is really not helping you to better the situation. It's not helping you to overcome the situation. It is literally just leaving you stuck. It is leaving you stagnant, okay? Just like how we create boundaries, and I've talked about boundaries before, um, and we've had a guest on as well talking about boundaries, and... Uh, you know, in self-love, especially when we talk about boundaries, we talk about the expectations we set for other people and how we want other people to treat us and how we want other people to act around us and things of that nature. Well, we need to set boundaries for ourselves as well. We need to say, this is what we expect of ourselves. Just the way we expect other people to treat us in a certain way, we need to be able to set those same boundaries for ourselves in order that we can live the life that we wanna live. And this has a lot to do with deciding that we are going to take control of our life. If there's something that we don't like in our life, we have the power to change it. Okay, we're not children anymore. Most of us watching this are not children. And we have created our life to be how it is now. And taking accountability and taking responsibility for, for that and looking at your life and seeing, okay, this is my life, this is what's happening in it, and then thinking about where you want to be, where you want to go, and what you want to do, and the steps required to get there takes a lot of strength. I get it. It's not easy. I've been in circumstances where I felt like I was never going to get out of it. I remember um, when I started my beauty brand, LuxXO.com, and I was just at a point where I was like, you know what? I need to start this. There were times where I was in better positions um, to start a business, and I was fearful because I had done business before, I had businesses before, and sometimes things didn't work out the way that I wanted it to work out. I came into like some bad business deals at one point. I remember I paid somebody to do my website and they completely and totally butchered it. Like they did not do anything I asked them to do. It looked pretty, but the functionality of it was not popping. So I had to take it upon myself to learn WordPress because I'm like, I'm never again paying somebody a bunch of money to do something and they don't do it correctly. So that was a part of me taking my power back. I could have let that be a situation where I was like, you know what? This person messed up my website. Being an entrepreneur is not for me. I'm not even going to bother being an entrepreneur. I'm not even going to bother with this whole thing. I'm just going to 
forget it and leave it alone and whatever. I'll just go do whatever. You know what I mean? What's up? What's up? Brit Lachey. But instead, I was like, no, this is a learning opportunity. This person messed up my website. I ain't got no more money right now to invest in making a new website. So I learned how to make websites. So now I can make websites. And it's like those failures, a lot of times we look at that, we see them as, oh my gosh, the situation is so bad. And we lay down and we let that situation take advantage of us when we really just need to take our power back and realize that sometimes that's pointing you in another direction because now I have a, a whole new skill, a skill that I didn't even realize that I would need later down in life, right? When I started LuxXO.com, I didn't have no computer. I definitely didn't have much income. I didn't have the regular support that I usually had because my mom is like my like BFF. Like she is like team Nadine and she supports like everything that I do. She's like, okay, I, I trust in you. I believe in you. I know you can do it. That's just the type of person that my mom is. And she moved to another city. And this is my first time in my life, like not living in the same city as my mom. So it was difficult. And I was like, man, like there was so many things that were wrong in that time, during that time, in that situation. And I'm like, no, you know what? I need to take my power back. I need to not let this situation get a, the best of me. And I need to try to make this work. When I wrote the Self Love Pack 2.0, I did not have a functioning computer. So at the nine to five, on my break, I used their computer. And I was able to make my dream a reality. So a lot of times I get it. It's hard. You're going through something. You feel stressed out. You know, there's a lot going on in your mind. You feel like you can't make it. But we cannot continue to allow circumstances, places, and things to take our power. We have the power. We make the decisions. We have to condition our mind to realize that we can do anything in this world that we wanna do. Anything that we wanna do, we can do it. One of my favorite scriptures is Philippians, I always get it, I think it's Philippians 4 verse three, and it is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? Because we really think sometimes, and I feel like a lot of us are conditioned to believe that we can't do a lot of things because of what we've been told or what we see and what we see, you know, the majority of the world doing and the programming that we've been, um, that has been put into our mind to say, you know what, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this. And this is the way you got to do it. You got to go to work. Then you got to get a, a job and then you got to work for somebody else. And then you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Like the way that we're conditioned in society makes us believe that we cannot stand on our own two feet. It makes us believe that we cannot do what we want to do. It makes us believe that everything that we dream is a fluke. When we see people succeeding, when we see people with successful businesses, when we see people writing books, when we see people making millions of dollars, when we see people traveling the world, we look at that and it seems so far out of reach. And it is not. It is not. Everybody is given the same 24 hours in a day. And what you choose to do with those 24 hours is up to you. So what are you going to do with it? Are you going to take that time to reclaim your power and step into your purpose and do the things that you're called to do? Listen to your heart, listen to your intuition and step into it? Or are you going to keep giving your power away? Yes, you're so right, Britt. Beliefs are real. Like anything that we say out of our mouth, we're conditioning our, sub our subconscious mind. Our mind will believe anything that we tell it. And that's why it's so important to pay attention to the words that you say. I caught myself sometimes. I remember at one point, I used to say all the time, I don't have any friends. I don't have any friends. And it came to pass. I really didn't have no friends. <laughs> now it's like I have friend. I have like so many people wanting to be my friends. I have to be turning down uh, like events. People be like, oh, can you come here? Can you like? I really want to hang out. I really want to connect with all of you guys. But right now, I'm building, and I need to be able to build and put in the work and build what I got to build. So that way, I'll have all the time, all the freedom to do everything that I want to do, right? And that's a form of setting priorities, right? And reclaiming my power and realizing that I can do what I want, but there's a process to getting there, 
right? And it's not just a snap of the fingers. It's a journey. It's a journey in being an entrepreneur and learning what works for me and what works for my ideal client. It's a journey of self-love and learning my boundaries and learning, um, you know, my limiting beliefs. It's a journey in my mindset and conditioning my mindset to do the hard things that I don't want to do to, to have the things that I want to have, right? And even with giving our power away, we, we do it in like the simplest ways. Like one example, a lot of people would say, oh, Instagram ruins relationships. Instagram ruins relationships. Yeah, no. Instagram does not ruin relationships. People ruin relationships. People getting on Instagram and partaking in certain activities on Instagram is what ruins the relationship. The interactions that are taking place is what ruins the relationships. The choice to be dishonest is what ruins relationships. These are actions. These are things that people are doing that is ruining relationships. Not the app. The app, it's, it's just an app. Like it's an inanimate object. How is that going to ruin your relationship? It's the people on the other side of the app engaging in certain activities on the app that causes relationships to be ruined. So people have this thought in their mind of, oh, I don't like Instagram. I don't use Instagram because it ruins relationships. Not Instagram builds businesses. Did you know that? There's hundreds, hundreds and thousands of people on Instagram every single day who makes millions of dollars off Instagram. And Instagram is their only source of income. That doesn't sound like a ruined relationship to me. There's people who start out on Instagram who are able to go from people who nobody knows to being popular people, signing record deals, getting shows, and all sorts of things. Instagram is a very beautiful, effective tool if it is used correctly. So that's another, another example of how people give their power away by looking at something and saying, oh, that thing does this or oh because of this person i'm in this situation okay i get that that person's actions may have influenced the situation that you're in but you also had a part in it right and once we're able to recognize this once we're able to come back to ourselves and look deep within ourselves and say okay what's going on with me right how am i contributing to the situation just the way the other person or other people contributed to the situation you are also contributing to the situation right so just realizing that and recognizing that and working on yourself working on yourself and healing yourself and going on a journey of learning and understanding who you are as a person and it's not an easy journey it is not an easy journey Tomorrow on my stories, I'm going to be talking about misconceptions. So definitely, definitely check out my stories tomorrow because I'm going to be sharing some huge misconceptions people have in regards to personal development. Self-love is a part of personal development. And I feel like because self-love has been put out so often and so many people are dropping it, self-love, 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 that it's become like a buzzword and people don't take it seriously. And when they hear self-love, they think, oh, that means a bubble bath and some wine. Oh, that means going to buy myself something nice. No, self-love is a journey. Self-love is healing. Self-love is tapping in and finding out who you are. And the reason why I believe that this is being talked about so much, especially in this time, is because it's needed. Self-love is needed. When I came to the realization that I wanted to start my self-love journey, it's because I was looking and I was seeing things that were happening on the outside. I was looking and I was seeing things that were happening in society where people were just ruthless and doing the craziest things. And I'm like, how could somebody really do that? How can someone be that way to somebody? How can someone treat somebody like that? How can someone do that? Which is wrong because that's judgment. That's me looking and judging. But when it, what it comes down to, what I've realized is that people that act in that manner, they don't know how to love themselves because trust me and believe me, if you love yourself, really, truly, genuinely love yourself, and I'm not talking about in a, what's the word I'm looking for? The word was there and I just missed it, but not in like a superficial, there we go, that's the word I was looking for, not in a superficial way. 
not in a superficial I love myself type of way, but really, really love yourself. If you can look in the mirror and you can see your demons and you can say, those are my demons and I love myself still, those are my demons and you can work through them and you can look at you, you can look at your scars, you can look at everything that's going on inside of you and you can say, I love myself, like I really truly love and accept myself, not putting on a show for anybody else, not loving yourself because of, oh, I love myself because, but I just love myself. Because I love myself, because I'm a creation, because God put me on this planet to impact and serve people, because I know I have a purpose. That's all good. Like loving yourself because of who you are, right? I was having a conversation yesterday and basically it came down to it. It's like even to say you love God, but you don't love yourself. Like you can't even love God and not love yourself because God is within us right? God is inside of us. So in order to really truly love God, we have to love ourselves. In the Bible says that God made us in his own image, right? That's what it says. Let us make man in our own image, right? That's what the Bible said. So we need to love ourselves and not superficially, okay? And I'm going to talk more about that actually tomorrow about loving yourself superficially because your girl used to model and I'm telling you it was an experience it was a journey and I still like dabble in it for my own personal things but that taught me a lot about self-love to be able to tell you guys more about self-love because in the modeling industry it looks like these these women love themselves and I'm not I'm not talking for all models because all models are different right but for some models, some parts of the industries, it looks like they love themselves. But sometimes people that you see that look the happiest, that look like they love themselves on the outside, they're really dying on the inside. And they're looking for people to love them. They're doing the most to try to get attention of people outside to say, hey, I'm here, pay attention to me, love me, right? And when you really truly love yourself, you don't even look for that. You don't look for that validation. You don't care who is talking about you. You don't care what nobody's going to say about you. You just have this peace inside of you. And it allows you to take your power back. It allows you to be confident. You know, it allows you to take accountability for your actions and where you are and know that you can get to where you want to be if you're not currently where you want to be. Like self-love is powerful. And there's so many misconceptions around it that it is, it's absolutely crazy. But we're going to get into that tomorrow. So let me know if you guys have any questions at all. If you guys are watching this live or if you guys are catching this on the replay, I totally appreciate you. I definitely want to know if you guys have any questions about this topic. Yes, girl. Take your power back. You got to. You got to. Right? Um, so also, I want to let you guys know that I do have a mentorship program. And I'm really, really excited to share it. Um, I launched it a couple weeks ago. I'm holding space for a few women. Right now, the price that it is, it's a very limited time opportunity. It is the beta program. And I am super excited to be launching this. And there are one-on-one -on -one sessions available as well as group sessions available. If you would like to work with me, I would definitely love to hear from you. So you can send me a DM with the word mentorship and I will tell you more about the program or you can go ahead and go to my bio, click the link in the bio and book a 30 minute consultation with me. It is a free 30 minute consultation and we will talk and I will see if we're a good fit. And if we're a good fit, then we can see ways that you can work with me. So I'm really, really excited about that program. We're going to dive into self-love and talk more about it and why it is important. And again, if you're catching this on the replay or even if you're watching this live and you want to find out what some huge misconceptions, I'm actually going to talk about one misconception tomorrow. Catch that on my story tomorrow. I'm going to be talking about a huge misconception people have when it comes to self-love. We're going to talk about it. Okay. So I hope you guys have an awesome day or an awesome evening, morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.